Imam the Kano breaks silence, opens up on the beheaded native doctor of Eastern Security Network. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Manzi Imam the Kano, has opened up on the allegation that members of IPOP beheaded a native doctor over charm failure. According to Imam the Kano, the Eastern Security Network does not patronize native doctors as the group does not believe in fetish things but only trust in the almighty god Chuko Kike Apiyama. Nam the Kanu disclosed this through IPOP spokesman Ima Powerful, adding that the federal government and Nigerian police should stop false allegation against IPOP. It is finished. You see, I used to tell people something that you don't be in a hurry to conclude and it's not fair it's not fair you see I know why all this is happening I know why all these allegations on IPOP I know I know why they, they are saying all these things all this about IPOP all these things still centers on that very reason why on that very fact that states that we want our own nation they are still pointing this finger at IPOP because they know because of what IPOP is requesting for. That very thing that IPOP is requesting for is what is still eating them up. They are not happy. They are not happy. They are not comfortable. They are just looking for something, something to hold on, something to to uh, like to hold on. That yes, this is what IPOP did. That is making us to levy them with this allegation that is making us to say all this about them and all of that they just want to paint ipop with a very bad name and that is why i'm sorry to say that i don't easily believe any um, thing the federal government is saying about ipop i don't believe you understand because this very one that he said this morning is a very expensive one saying that ipop went on to behead the native doctor yeah, they are native doctor for term failure. Come on, we, we, we just have to be sincere to ourselves and stop telling ourselves all of these lies. We know what IPOP is capable of. Martin and the Kano, first of all, I said it from the beginning when I was uh, working on the on the on the um, on the broadcast that Nnamdi Kano is uh, a Jew, even if he's not a Jew, but he's a practicing Jew, and um, he's a Christian. And if the the group is a group that is that is backed up with ethics. You, Nam the Kano cannot back up his group with with fetish things. With fetish things. Since he set up the group, he has been running the group with with fair hands, with sincere hands, and with with truthful hands. So why, why the allegation? Of what gain are you going to get in criticizing the group? To me, all these things doesn't pay. They are all setups. They are all setups. They are just looking for for what to say to the UN, for what to say to the to the EU, UNPO, so that they will know that okay, what Nigeria is saying about this group is true. That is what they are looking for. That's what they are looking for. You heard it from Mazin the Kano. He said it's not true, and it cannot be true. You see that? So let us stop this blaspheming. Let us stop these stories that touch because they will not pay us. They are not taking us anywhere. There is no way you could. There is nothing you say about IPOP that will make the world to believe you and start and stop the support that they are giving to IPOP. Nothing. It cannot work. Only work. I'm telling you. So you just hold your cool. Hold your cool. Because it cannot work. IPOP is a uh, is a group set up to pursue a nation. They, want, they, are, they are pursuing a nation of their own. You understand? They are not. It's not a fetish group. It's not a fetish group. It's not a group set up to 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 to, to destroy. You understand? So. Let us stop the criticism of IPOP. Let's stop the criticism of IPOP. Let us stop the uh, the blaspheming of this group. 
because it will go it will, it will do us no good it will do us no good you see when i i i, I went through when i was broadcasting on that very news now going through the headline i felt something i knew it's 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 uh it's a uh, it's an allegation. First of all, the first thing that came to my mind was allegation again. You understand? And why did I say so allegation? I said so because I already know. I already know that this is one of the very tricks that the Nigerian government always apply to jeopardize the name of the of the of the group. You understand now? And they are doing this in order for the world to see and believe that yes, what they are saying about IPOP is true. Now it is happening. You see. So I now say to myself, of what use? That's it. Of what use? Of what use is that going to be to them? <laughs> My dear viewers, something needs to be done very fast. If Nigerian government don't know how to help themselves, they should think of on that way, on that way out. Know this. Know this. If they don't know how to blackmail, they should think of another way. Know this. Because this will not help them. It will help them. And besides, the approach in the country is using to pursue. The, uh, the Republic of Biafra is a very simple approach. A very simple approach. Okay? So, um, please, my dear viewers, based on this very fact, you and I already are aware of what is on ground. The rift, the issue, the misunderstanding between IPOP and the Nigerian government. Going to Nam Kano is no longer uh, a rift, but a war. So please, my dear viewers, um, based on what has just been said, what do you think? Give me a feel to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.